Hi, I'm Barry Duggan. I've been involved with GNU Radio about two and a half years and have done a lot of work in the documentation area. And in doing so, realized that a beginner has an overwhelming amount of information and needed a realized they needed a good way to get started and know where to go, a roadmap. So I wrote this page called Newbie Guide to GNU Radio. It's in our wiki. So if we look at that, it covers the main page of the wiki, tutorials, block docs, repository, our mailing list, and chat rooms. So let's look at each of those in turn. The main page shows an example flow graph, how to get started, what is it, how do you install it, so forth. The tutorials provide a complete course from absolute beginner through an intermediate level of expertise. And then for developers, has details beyond that. So there's introduction, the uh, new radio companion, which is allows you to create flow graphs, understanding sample rate. A number of simulation examples are given here, which do not require hardware to execute. And then goes on through a lot of other interesting topics as well. The block docs is a listing of all of our, our individual blocks and we have 471 of them so far that are documented. I don't think we've missed any, but uh, hope not. So let's look at one in particular, the correlation estimator. If we go to that block, it gives a brief summary of what it is, lists all of the parameters, what they do and how to set them, and then has an example flow graph. Now this particular example exists in the, the uh, GitHub tree for GNU Radio, and there's a link to it right here. And this is for the correlation estimator. And there is the correlation estimator block in this flow graph. And then this one has a example output. When you execute it, it shows various places in the flow graph and tags that show up. And then the general format we have also lists the source files. And as you can see, we still have work to do on this one. Now this particular flow graph has a link to the source code for it. So if we click on that, we get this formatted listing of the code of, of the flow graph. And it's it's in the in the GitHub repository, which is where all of the GNU radio stuff is. And it's in the digital group. And then every group has some examples. And then this is under the DMOD folder. And there is a particular flow graph we're looking at. Now, if you want to copy this and paste it into a local file to try to run, this is a formatted HTML page. So what you need in order to copy that code is to click on this raw button right here. And when you do, that will give you the unformatted file ready for you to copy and use. Now going back to the newbie guide, we have a mailing list and it is uh, 
it allows people to ask questions and then get answers to them. And we have a page that describes the mailing list. And uh, guidelines for posting and the lists themselves. And then you can uh, submit questions to it. And you can also, well, here's the links to, to subscribe and to view. And then the, the chat describes a chat server. And we use uh, Matrix. But if you happen to use a, uh, an IRC bridge, then uh, the Libra IRC server is bridged to the matrix. And so you can get to it either way. But if you're new to it, I recommend you use the matrix because it's uh, got more rooms available besides what's bridged from IRC. And please read the uh, basic etiquette on how to use the chat before you dive in. So this is a quick overview, and I hope it uh, helps you get going in the right direction. And I, I always welcome questions either now or, or on a matrix chat room. Thank you.